Hey guys, it's a brand new video today, and today I'm doing a one. So if you like how this look turned out, then keep watching. Okay, so first I'm starting off with concealer. This is the Ideal Flawless Stick Concealer. This is one of the best concealers. That's so disappointing. Seven pounds. You're paying seven pounds for that. I would say it's worth it because of the coverage you get. I've never found a stick one that gives as much coverage as this do. Maybe I'm going to need to go look for a new stick because that's just ridiculous. Okay, so now that's done, let's go in with foundation. Today I'm using Avon's Colour Trend Fresh Face Liquid Foundation. That's all it says, and it's natural. Wow, that, that's cold. Oh my god, that is so cold. You're in a fig I like stored it in the fridge or something. Okay, foundation. Avon is just an overpriced catalogue. Let's be real, like some of their products ain't that good, but they're so expensive. Like this foundation was so cheap. It was from their leaflet catalogue. When you buy from the leaflet catalogue, it's basically half the price. So this was this cost about two fifty, I think. Whereas the normal foundations can go from like five pound up. Oh, I think that's done. Why do all these like foundations give me such a glossy look? You probably wonder why don't I just buy matte foundations? I asked myself that question too. <laughs> All my brushes are from Avon. This is a powder brush, but I actually use it for... Or was it a blush brush? This is a powder brush and I use it to contour. This is their... I think this is their blush brush, but I use it for highlighting. I'm actually having work done on my house and the guys just come back. So this might turn into a voiceover, or I'm going to be very quiet and not be talking to you. So yeah, let's move on to powder. But this is the only product in the Mark range that I own. Everything else I've tried from Avon is from Colour Trend. This is in the shade Baskin Beauty. So I'm just going to contour got a print you're not even gonna see it it just says mark like in the print oh damn 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 that is such a good colour it's not too dark mmm Oh, it's going to give it a champagne colour. I hate champagne highlights. I have to look in my mirror. I said I have to look in my mirror when there's a mirror literally right here. Hmm. Not feeling that highlighter. Yeah, I'm done with that. I'm not really feeling that highlighter, but that bonder. A star. So this is the Glimmer Stick Brow Define in Brunette. Oh, okay, it's one of them. It's like a twisty pencil type, so we'll see. I want to say this is so natural, you can hardly really tell. Which can be a good thing to people, if you like that natural look. This is something I'd recommend. I just want to say that this is good, but seven quid good? I don't think so. My mum bought me this one, so I think I'm going to try this one. Because I've semi tried the other ones. And it's Luxe. So it must be special. Shine bright like a diamond. This is called Sophisticated Violets. So, must be purple. Oh god, how do you open this? I hate this. This whole packaging goes hella annoying. Wow, that is classy. Especially for Avon. 
So it's saying you've seen like Chanel Dior or something. These are the colours. So pretty. So you've got some dark purple, mid-tone, light purple. I want to apologise that 70% of my eye makeup looks will be purple. Okay, so this is so light, it's literally not coming out. Okay. The size of this mirror is quite big. This will be good for travelling. Sorry if I'm out of focus. I feel like I'm 100% out of focus. Let's go back. Let's go back. Yeah, this is so light. Niche enough is happening. And I'm doing really. So if you're light or dark on me, then maybe you'll get some colour pigment. Mm -hmm. Okay, we won't be using that. You can't use it as a base because there's no colour coming out. So we're going to use this one here. This looks like the shade of Max Stars and Rocket. So here we're going to take a blending brush that is from Primark that has previously had black on it and we're going to dip in purple and see what happens. This is beautiful then my soul all together. I think I'm going to use this darker to smoke it out and then go in with this darker shade just to give it a bit more oomph. Did I really just say that? Oh, damn. That's a good, that's a nice colour. Okay, so I'm going to use Okay guys, I forgot to mention, I'm going to put this in, it's their blush. I love this blush. This was one of my first blushes and I've never looked back. I love it because it's red. So many drugstore places seem to do this pink or this deep pink or it looks red but it's pink. I hate pink blushes, especially the pale shades, they look ridiculous. I ain't trying to look like Barbie. That's why I want Nazi's one so I want it so so badly. I spend 23 quid on a blush. This is a whopping 6 quid and look how much you get. You wanna know where that's a rip off? Because recently I just bought Makeup Revolution's blush palette. Eight shades for how much? Six quid. I mean it's not the colours I want, but it's still more than this tiny, tiny tiny thing. I'm sorry. If you haven't realised, Avon is overpriced. Way, way overpriced than what it should be. Maybe I can revive this contour if the highlight situation is going on. I like that in your face, doesn't even look like it's been blended kind of look. Okay, it looks way worse on camera. It does not look like that, <laughs> that bad in real life. Let's do the green one, because I don't think I've ever done green. Is this from Avon? Okay, this is from the Colour Trend line. I didn't think that pencil was doing anything until I looked up in the camera and... <laughs> you can see my green under eye. So let's move on to actual eyeliner. This is the Glamistic Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Let's finish the eyes and go on to mascara. This is their Extreme Super Extend Extreme Mascara. 
The mascaras ain't anything special, they're all basic, they make your lashes there, but they don't really do anything for them. Last but not least, we finally got onto the lips. So I'm taking this lip gloss, I've had it for years, can you tell? It's in the colour Future Fantasy. I think it's from the colour Trend range, but I don't remember. It's just a nice pink. Guys, you can tell I'm a massive flop when it comes to recording videos. I've got one important thing, setting spray. This is very important because, well, this is halfway. I've already gone through one. I may have gone through two. I can't remember if this is my second or third bottle. But this setting spray is amazing. I've tried the e.l.f. one. I think it does zilch. Colourpops, the zilch. I've tried the Sport FX one, the zilch. Primark one, I'm just undecided if that does anything. But this is my number one. This costs around seven. I think all Avon products cost seven pounds, but this is amazing. This is the magic one. This is the Avon's own like original because I know Mark, the brand Mark, has come out with one too. This is a prime and set spray. I like to drench myself in it and cover. Me. So if any makeup on my face isn't waterproof, then we'll find out. I totally recommend this. I can't believe I forgot it. I use this every day. It's amazing. At a Vinkins Avon video, you should get this. And the great thing is, it doesn't smell of anything. <laughs> I hate ones that stink, and the spray is amazing. It just sprays normally, not like Colourpop sweat. One, it stinks with cucumbers. Not a fan. Even though I love cucumbers. But it just, it spits at you, it doesn't spray, it's so annoying. But yeah, that is the final look. The end of the video and I hope you guys liked. Tell me what Avon products you've used. What you like, what you don't like. And yeah, until then, I'll see you guys later.